All right. And the third example of percent of a number is it says find 120% of 75 by writing the percent as a fraction. So 120% is more than 100. So you know your answer is going to be more uh, than 75. So, um, so if we have that, just know that it's going to be more than 75 because we're getting 120%. Uh, so let's look at that. Uh, it says write it as a fraction. So 120% as a fraction, we get rid of this and we write it over 100. So we have an improper fraction now. Uh, times 75, make that a fraction. Poof. Okay. And now um, we can cross simplify or multiply across. I don't care. This time we're going to cross simplify. And we're going to take a factor of 25 out of both. So 25 out of here would be a 3. And 25 out of here would be a 4. And now we can multiply across. And we're going to get we're going to get uh, three times it is six hundred three hundred and sixty sorry three hundred and sixty over four and so we're going to stop so we're going to stop drop and divide because it's too heavy so we're going to simplify it and we're going to get ninety so ninety is 125% of 75. There's another way to do this here, and let's do it here. If I said 120% of 75, I can actually simplify this fraction in the very beginning, this fraction here, and I can get that to 6 fifths, and then multiply it times 75. Either way, it works. So if you can see to do it this way and simplify first, it's fine. If you want to simplify at the end, it's fine as well. And multiply 6 times, oh, let's cross simplify. We can get a factor of 5 here, and a factor of 5 here would be 15. And now 6 times 15 here is 90. So either way, 120% of 75 is 90. Thank you.